hi guys in this video i am going to talk about how to get the driving license in canada you all welcome i am tilanka herat from canwin youtube channel i share lots of information with you about international movements of the people and you are in the right place if you need right information so in this video i am going to show you how to get the driving license in canada the process and time of getting driving license is different between different provinces in canada okay let's start i am going to divide this video into two parts first one is newcomers to canada with more than 2 years of driving experience in your home country and second part is newcomers to canada with less than 2 years of experience in your home country or without any experience in driving as a newcomer if you have driving license issued by your home country you can drive 30 to 120 days in canada but it depends between provinces in the canada some provinces required international driving license before you start driving so i recommend you to get the international driving license from your home country before you land into canada the driving license is most important thing in your day to day life in canada so as soon as you landed to canada you have to start process of getting driving license if you have more than 24 months driving experience in last 3 years in your home country you can apply for full license road test in canada in order to it you have to pass i test and pass the knowledge test pay the applicable fees and need to provide two acceptable identity as i mentioned before in order to make this process easy and fast i recommend you to bring driver's record from your home country also it is proof that you have driving experience of more than 2 years and no bad records too second part which i going to talk about is newcomers with less than 2 years of driving experience or without any driving experience you have to get learners permit before you apply for the driving license learners permit call differently in different provinces in some provinces it call graduate license so in order to get the learners permit you have to pass i test and knowledge test after you get the learners permit you have to gain 12 months of driving experience and driving lessons from registered driving school consists theory and practical driving lessons after you complete all the lessons you can apply for level 1 exit test there you must pass road test to move level 2 if you pass the road test you will get level 2 driving license and there you can drive with some restrictions after you complete 12 months of driving experience in level 2 driving license you can apply for level 2 exit road test it called level 2 exit test or g2 exit test if you pass the 
level 2 road test you will get full driving license in Canada okay then uh, let's go to service Ontario website and we'll talk in detail about how to get driving license in Canada okay let's go to service Ontario website uh, here you go driver's license find the services you need to relate to your Ontario driver's license uh, get a driver's license first time driver uh, it says if you are at least 16 years old you can apply for driver's license in Ontario as a new driver you will need to practice driving and gain experience over time for most people the two-step process take about 20 months to finish here how you get it driving license two steps mean first G1 driver's license second one G2 driver's license and uh, here driving in Ontario to drive Ontario roads you need to carry a valid driver's license at all the times have a valid owner's permit license plate and insurance obey traffic laws and driver safety and when you talk about uh, license type Ontario has 15 types of license each license certifies you to drive a specific type of vehicle to drive a car van or small truck you will need a G class license so only thing you need is G, G class license and apply for a driver's license to apply for a driver license in Ontario you need to be at least 16 years old pass an eye test pass a knowledge test about the rules of the road and traffic signs once you pass these tests you get a G1 license you are considered a beginner driver and need to practice driving and gain experience all the time this is all the topics I talked before we are to apply knowledge driving test to apply and take the requirement knowledge test visit the driving test center uh, here you can find the driving sets online here you can see all the driving center driving learning centers and driving test centers in Ontario it's easy systematic so you just need to select one place and book it online this is how to book drive test online go back and uh, accepted identity documents uh, I'll talk about foreigners permanent residents permanent resident PR card record of landing Ontario photo card confirmation of permanent residents uh, and uh, when you talk about temporary resident study permit student author authorization work permit visitor record temporary resident permit refugee status claim acknowledgement of intent to claim refugee status repeat persuade to the immigration act ontario photo card and if you need to see the uh, things about the fees you can go to this link uh, study for the knowledge test ontario's official driver's handbook will help you prepare for your test knowledge test it covers rules of the road and practical driving tips you can buy the handbook online through service ontario or at the driving test center and from many retail stores so here you can preview driver handbook free of charge you see and table of content So all the lessons are there 
you can study online you see requirement for driving ontario all the pictures and varieties of license all the details are there let's go back and in driver handbook you can learn about stoppings you see so you don't need to buy a book you can study them online and uh, parking all the lessons are there mm. and G1 license, maintain zero blood. I already talked about these things. G2 road test. So you can refer all these things. I I put a link on description. Then G2 license. Uh, G2 drivers under 19. G road test. G2 exit test. What happens if I fail a G1 or G2 road test? book in the road test all the instruction there and uh, contact numbers uh, if you need to watch videos about driving lessons all the things are there very easy you see step by step so you don't need to spend money on buying a driving license handbook you can refer all of them online if you are from one of the countries below, uh, you can exchange driving license in Canada. You just need to take I exam. Uh, countries are United States of America, Australia, Austria, Belgium, France, Germany, Ireland, Japan, South Korea, New Zealand, Switzerland, Taiwan, United Kingdom. So you just need to produce your home country license to service Ontario, then do the eye test, get Canadian license. That's all. You can start driving and I wish you enjoy your rest of the life in Canada. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and Click on bell icon. Thank you. See you soon.